And closer to home now, minor league hockey is coming back to First Arena this fall. That's one of the things the head of the Chemung County Industrial Agency said in a news conference this afternoon. And after 18 News reported yesterday about an audit that shows the arena lost money last year, they also said they will hire a consultant to dig deeper into arena finances. They also said the arena doesn't get tax dollars, but then admitted it took several hundred thousand dollars from the federal government's COVID relief money. Our 18 News reporter Joe Mason was at the news conference and he questioned the IDA leaders about where the arena goes from here. I've always said there's three options. Option number one is knock it down. Option number two is let us sit there. Option number three is let's find a way to move it forward. The Chemung County IDA started its news conference by talking about the findings of yesterday's audit and changes it says will be made. Among them, the new switch from a debit to a credit card to buy arena supplies. Auditors say it's easier to track spending that way, having more than one person responsible for arena spending and accounting, a possible consultant position to help plan for the future, $500,000 in American Rescue Plan money going to infrastructure improvements and equipment, and the goal of the IDA to sell the arena in the next three to five years. Are the results of the audit available to the public? Yes. They, yeah, they will ultimately be posted on the website once it's completed. We're still yep. waiting on the Yeah, they will be posted so on the website. Be, is hockey coming back to First Arena next season? Hockey will be back to First Arena next season. We're currently in the process of working uh, on negotiating a fair and reasonable uh, opportunity for both parties. And you mentioned that the um, the IDA isn't funded by taxpayer dollars, correct? That's what you said. Joe, would you like to come up? Is the IDA funded by taxpayer dollars? Uh, it is not. It is funded by mainly by fees that we do when we receive when we do development projects. That's where the primary revenue source from the IDA comes from. But partially funded by the American Rescue Plan, which is technically federal taxpayer dollars, no? We used, we used ARPA dollars for, as Mark mentioned before, for um, some small improvements that we've done in the past. As Mark had also mentioned, there's potential money lined up from the county to do some additional work here. That is, that is federal funds.